happened yesterday morning, but since midnight, we've had three aftershocks. Again, this is about 150 miles from Raleigh as the crow flies. All the aftershocks this morning, there was one about 2 a.m., one about 4 a.m., and another one about 7 a.m. All have been between 2 and 2.2. We're not going to feel those here. Maybe they felt them up in Sparta, but we would continue to expect to see a few more aftershocks in the coming days, all most likely small, but just another piece of excitement in what a year it has been. Of course, last week we had the hurricane. Yesterday we had the earthquake. Most of this week, at least the forecast, plans for fairly normal August weather. And for us, this time of year, that means highs around 89 degrees. That's where we were today. We'll be about that tomorrow and really the rest of this week. And while the temperatures look kind of eh, boring, not much is changing, Wes, the rain chances will. Those will be going up as we head later throughout the week. Today, there's a few showers and thunderstorms. We've got one severe thunderstorm warning just south of our area. I just wanted to show that to you so you knew what the yellow box was that's showing up on the map here. But if you look at the storms, they're moving more to the south. So they're moving away from us still, even if it's not severe, heavy rain with a lot of lightning. We know how dangerous that could be. So stay weather aware tonight. Keep an eye on that radar. Here in Raleigh, we've had a couple of downpours, a few thunderstorms, a couple of them trying to get going here just in the last few minutes. East of town, really from in Johnston County, kind of right along the Nash-Wilson County line, out toward Edgecombe County, east of I-95, and then another cluster exiting Wayne County. That pretty much summarizes the activity for this Monday evening. Our temperatures, many of us stayed shy of 90 today, but it was still really humid outside. And as you can see right now, rain cooled air has some of us in the 70s, everyone else still hanging in the upper 80s. And with that high humidity in those upper 80s, we've got heat index values that are right around the mid 90s. So still plenty hot. I know it's not what we had a couple weeks ago, but it's also not October yet. So as we go hour by hour into tonight, we'll keep a few isolated, strong storms around. Then we'll dry out after 10 o'clock and through the overnight hours. Temperatures that again flirted with 90 today will hover in the upper 80s the next few hours and then drop through the 70s, winding up at 71 on Tuesday morning. So once again this week, the weather map has a cold front on it. It's way out there in the Midwest. This will be approaching us later this week, not to really cool us down, but to enhance our rain chances. In the meantime, we've got hot high pressure giving us those temperatures near 90 with plenty of humidity. And then we've got this elongated area of low pressure, we call it a trough, that's gonna help destabilize our atmosphere. So that combination will give us another 20 or 30% chance of rain tomorrow. Here's what it looks like morning time. We'll start off dry, albeit warm and muggy, maybe a little bit of fog. Then we get toward lunchtime, a few clouds, Afternoon hours, you start to see those thunderstorms bubble up. The coverage tomorrow, very similar to what we're seeing today. Some of those showers and storms sticking around through 6 o'clock, and then we'll see rain chances go away as we head into tomorrow night. So today and tomorrow, probably the two driest days we're going to see this week as rain chances will go up starting on Wednesday. So here's what it all looks like in your extended forecast. Again, temperatures aren't going to move that much. You're not going to notice any changes unless you get under a thunderstorm. But notice the rain chances. Today was about a 20 or 30 percent day. Same thing tomorrow. We're up to 40 percent Wednesday, 50 percent Thursday. We expect that to be our wettest days. We'll keep it about 40 percent Friday and Saturday. Now remember, we don't expect washouts, rain from start to finish, not that type of thunderstorm activity. But as rain chances get higher, say on Thursday, more of us are going to get covered with rain in the afternoon. Kind of what we're seeing today, just more green. And then your exclusive 10-day forecast will keep temperatures around 90 through most of next week with smaller rain chances into next week.